Welcome. Today I am going to do the video I've been promising for a little bit on smart random notes and how I use it to make note connections. Before I do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member at curtismichael.ca slash membership. They get all my courses included, weekly research notes. Number two, just take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. There you can just go pay and pick a single course if you want that. And then like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. So let's dive in and look at uh, how I use smart random notes. All right, you can see actually this is my note on this note on this uh, topic. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to our settings. That was command comma in Mac OS control comma in um, Windows or Linux. And it should be actually if you just go to the gear down here in the bottom corner, which you can't see because I'm in the way. So it's down here in the bottom corner. We'll show you right there. See? That gear right there. If you click on that. Now we get to our settings. First thing we need to do is go to community plugins. And we're going to use workspaces here. Workspaces. Oh, sorry, under core plugins is workspaces. Workspaces. And we're going to add the workspace right there. Make sure it's turned on. And so we do this so that we can save our setup for smart random notes. The next thing we're going to do is go to community plugins. We can browse and we can search smart random notes and we'll click on it and right here it'll say install and enable and then with your community plugins if you don't see all this stuff here there'll be a button to turn on your community plugins it'll give you a warning saying hey we can't check all the code but i think that is fine so if we go to let's just look at here again smart random notes go to our settings there's really only two settings open a new leaf oh, that's our new tab um, if you want your note to be open to a new tab, I just leave that off and then enable the ribbon icon. The ribbon icon means that it shows up here as the dice. Open random note from search. That's the important thing. So now let's look at what we actually do. I'm just going to open this up so you can see it better. And I also have turned on here the explain search terms and show more context. So that means that it's going to show some more in my notes and explain search terms will actually explain what I'm searching. I think these are important things for your search just to make it easy so you know what's happening. So I'll turn that back off for now. And so what I'm doing is I'm searching in the path of notes or the path of tags or the path of books or the path of sources. So if I go over to my folders, you can see I'm looking in uh, anything with books in it. So that's not actually my book list. Um, I'm in the middle of reorganizing my vault. So that really doesn't count for anything at the moment. Uh, and we're looking in our notes, right? Notes right here. And we're looking in our sources, which also has a subfolder of books. So this is any article that I have uh, read. This is the actual notes on the article, the literature notes as they're often called, right? My notes folder is stuff where I have, I'm actually taking a note, a personal thought, a personal idea, I maybe combined a couple of things to take a note for myself. And I'm also searching in tags, All right? So this is again, tag notes, there'll be a link up above to what tag notes are, right? You can see you got a bunch of them here, right? One password to do, um, the Beirut massacre, stuff like that. So, but I'm excluding writing. So why am I excluding writing? I'm excluding writing because I have a bunch of stuff in there, like my PCAM weekly notes that just don't really shouldn't show up. I'd actually love to see my other stuff show up. So some of my other writing things I've written, um, things I've published, but not PCAM weekly, not some newsletter content. So for now I'm excluding all of that. And I'm not you know, clearly not doing templates. I'm not doing my sort this because, right? I don't have anything to do. <laughs> I just, I need to sort that stuff like that. And so if I look at my search, that's what this is doing. So once I have this set up, I also have my sidebar open and I'll actually shrink this back to here because that's how I'd use it. And my sidebar open with the different, um, all right, this is graph analysis, which I did a video on recently. I can search out my backlinks for smart random notes and any other tool that you have, right? The outline of the note, the strange new worlds version of it. Um, or graph analysis. So this is going to give me, when I do a random note, uh, an idea of what's happening. It will show me uh, other sources, other things that relate to it. So now this is set. I'm going to hit Command P and go to Workspaces. And now we can save and load another layout or manage workspaces. So this is where we would actually come in and save it. So I've already got this saved as random note. So you'd type random note, whatever you want, and then click Save. So now I can load my workspace. 
load workspace layout, random note. So there you go. Now it's loaded my random note. This is going to open it up to whatever my last save was. I saved this morning with all these extra tabs just to revamp my search parameters, really. That is what it's going to do. So let's open up, say, this PKM Weekly, and now we can hit our dice for a random note. And this is going to give me a random note. And you can see it's already shown my population of uh, different things that go with it. Right? Safe is not enough. Better schools for LGBTQ students. Uh, this is a book, I think. Let's open up Safari and find out. Let's look that up. So this is, again, something I do. This is, say, an older note. Yeah, it's a book. So what I'm actually going to do in this case is I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to actually spend some time to revamp it. So I'm going to go into, I would no longer do this at the top based on my current workflow. So I'm going to take that out. And then I'm going to hit Enter. So now it's saved the link to it in any space. I would actually do this as well. I'm going to leave my tags for now. And I'm going to take the notes and delete that. So now I'm going to use book search, which I've done a video on before as well. Book search, insert the metadata. Say if it's not enough, search. There we go. And I've added this in. So now I've actually added the real content I want. Say if it's not enough, it's fine. Author. I'm going to leave the tags right there, though. So now I've actually just again revamped this note. I've moved it into my new format. I've looked at it, and I probably want to change that right there. Um, and now I could look at it. So if I owned it, I'd add the you know if I if I own it, I don't own this book. Uh, that's what I do. So this is one of the things I would do with my smart random notes. Next one, Meridian. This is a fiction book I read. I don't really have anything to say about it, so I'm gonna just ignore it. Keep going. History of Work in Six Words by Derek Thompson. This is an essay, right? Why Americans love work so much. So then this is the point where I'd start to look through and see like what else is in here? What else does this not relate to that I would need from other um, other sources, right? I can look at, again, graph analysis to see what else goes in here. You can see Strange New Worlds is what's shown this 18 right here. So I could look at other notes here, right? Barking up the wrong tree also linked to it. So I could say, hey, what does barking up the wrong tree have to say about this? What does creating innovators say about this? What does designing your life say about match fit? And how does it relate to these two? Is it going to, if I look at one of those notes, right? If I open it up in a split right, is it split right? Didn't, oh, it's split over there. I don't want that. I'll close that later. So if I go split right, and then I looked at match fit, and then I say, let's look at creating innovators in here. And I could look at how does this idea and my summary of it relate to this idea over here? Is there something for me to say in this here? If not, then I would just, you know, move on and close it. Hit another random note. All right, Silicon Valley calls theft disruption. So this is the idea that in Silicon Valley, they're like, oh, we're just disrupting technology, right? You see this they are right now where they are literally stealing even some of my content because I publish it for free. And they're saying, oh, we're just disrupting things. But they're actually stealing the content. They're using it without my permission. Uh, they're using it for their own profit without my permission. So they're making profit off my work and I'm not making anything off it, in fact. So that's what I would do with this, with the smart random notes. You can use workspaces, use smart random notes to make more connections, maybe think about my notes, come up with new ideas and make more writing with it. Now, just because you have the tools though, doesn't mean that you've actually used them. So this is, you, know, you would say, I got a hammer, but it doesn't mean you actually have built anything. And so you actually need to take the time, make the time, uh, spend the time every week to do this. I would suggest an hour a week making new connections. I don't care if you go through one note, I don't care if you go through like 50 notes. The point is to actually make progress on your vault to do more things with it, to make connections, to write, to think to say, hey, actually, you know, I'm looking at this and there's these other books that I want to read because of this note, because of this idea. That's how you make connections. This is where a lot of people fall down. They don't actually spend the time working their vault. They only focus on the input. I, that's probably the biggest thing. Everyone's like, how do I get things in faster? How do I, and, and that's not the important part. The important part in making notes is actually making the connections. So get some stuff in, start making connections, think about your notes, mull over them. You like the bigger your vault is, you should spend more time. I and mean, no, not all your time, clearly, but you should spend more time actually working your notes because you have so many ideas in there, right? I have 4,000 notes in there, 4,300 and something. There are lots of ideas in there that I can work on, 
there are lots of ideas that I can continue to flesh out to turn into other content. So I need to spend time doing that. And I do try, I do try every week to do that. I get it uh, probably every other week is more realistic with how everything goes on around here. But you do need to do this. You have already lots of ideas in there. Don't worry about the input as much. Work your notes. And that's it. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, bell, stuff like that. Share it with someone. That'd be a great thing. Share it with someone. Or you can support the channel directly by becoming a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Other than that, my courses are also on Skillshare. You can find a link to those below. Have an awesome day.